to the vast frozen Canadian Rockies in 1953 came a party of American geologists on the final leg of a treacherous journey. Their mission? To study the geological development of the giant Saskatchewan glacier. Loading its equipment at the foot of the glacial slope, the expedition prepared to approach the ice pack that once covered most of our continent. For glaciers are huge masses of ice and snow, which, when they reach depths of around 100 feet, creep down mountainsides under their own weight. The bitterly cold streams, made chalky by melting ice from the glacial reservoir to the north, were severe challenges for the pack horses as they picked their way through the freezing current. With practiced skill, a veteran guide led a balky horse out of the stream. The climb continued as the expedition skirted the ice cap, a glistening remnant of the frozen tentacle of the Saskatchewan glacier. The glacier is a great sheet of ice, hundreds of miles square, and in places thousands of feet thick, the most powerful force of erosion to attack the heights of the earth. On the peak of the ice cap, men unloaded the pipe, which would measure the depth of the frigid mass, and the generator needed to power the equipment used in the test. Scarring the face of the glacier were yawning crevasses caused by tensions far below its surface. These chasms sometimes stretched hundreds of feet in length and plunged to the very bottom of the ice cap. Here the test began. Sections of the aluminum pipe were joined to the bit, which, after it was heated red hot, would steer through the brittle ice. Clues to the structure and movement of the glacier were found in measuring its depth, giving further proof that glaciers are gradually retreating northward as the earth grows warmer. Exploring the area surrounding their camp, two members of the expedition spied a glacial water spout in the distance. Locked streams running beneath the ice were forced upward to create a strange ice-cold geyser. From their rock-bound camp, these scientists brought back to us vital knowledge from its frozen million-year-old depth to contribute to the milestones of science in our century. <laughs>